films for the mainstream, for the global audience. Um, I'm not interested in making a film for film festival crowds. You know, I'd just as soon not meet people and talk about the movie. Um, and I don't mean that in some kind of, you know, disdainful way. It's just the movie should be the movie. And, and um, uh, but I don't consider myself a Hollywood insider in the sense that, well, first of all, I didn't have an agent for 15 years. And uh, don't have a manager, don't have a publicist, mm -hmm. don't have any of that stuff. Like to just live quietly and stay out of the public view as much as possible. Don't go to parties, don't do lunches, don't do dinners. You know, I just like to hang with the fam when I have free time. It's the times when I'm going for something that's a little bit cinematically vague and, and stylized. And you don't know, are you going to do it with lighting? Are you going to do it with with uh, some kind of lens effect. It's the trickiest thing when you're going for some kind of cinematic trope yeah. that you're inexperienced in. You see other people do it, you know what I mean? And you go, damn, that was a one good the, idea. But it never applies. You can't take their idea one, and one use right. it. Well, with me, it's like the scenes that always give me uh, trepidation leading up to them are, uh, are the, the big cinematic scenes, the big action scenes, because I don't want to be a piker. I want them to be awesome. All right, so if I'm doing the car chase in Death Proof, I want to be one of the greatest car chases of all time, but I've never shot a car chase before. And so you got to know that, okay, I don't know, I'm not going to know exactly how to do it on the first day, but I'll figure it out in the course of it, and that's going to be cool. But that, that's trepidation, all right, leading up to it, because I want it to be great, and I want it to be awesome, and it's mine to F up. So I want them to be magnificent. And if they're not, then I have officially reached the ceiling of my talent. And I always want to... <laughs> Don't worry, you'll work yeah. And I always want to risk, I always want to risk bumping my head. I always want to risk, I want to see where that ceiling eventually happens. But yeah, I intend, I intend to quit at 60. I'm going to write novels and write cinema literature and stuff like that. You have a plan. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's no, very no. serious about it. Did you, oh, yeah. you see how serious he was? Well, you That's just brought it up exactly what I plan to do. Hours a month. I want to wow. die directing, but I've take, I have I took my hi hiatus already because I figured I can still be directing when I'm 80, yeah. but I can't be doing the deep ocean and expedition stuff riding around in a Zodiac in a 20-foot sea when I'm 80. I'll break my neck. So. <laughs> You know, actually, I, but I would even add more to that, though. I would even say that if it actually gets to where they're actually, you can't show 35 millimeter film in theaters anymore, and everything is just digital projection, I won't even make it to 60. Oh. <laughs> no, nobody's told you. <laughs> yeah. Hasn't happened yet. Let's uh, let's not turn this into a fight. Really. It has oh, my God. I've seen oh, enough bad prints of my movies. Oh, that I, yeah. It's yeah. coming down the it's coming down the pike pretty quickly, Quentin. Well, pretty quickly. <laughs> maybe I got one more. <laughs>